Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Man, I couldn't tell you how thrilled I am that to have already hit over 200 subscribers. I'll tell you, it's well worth the wait and I'm happy it's gotten over 200. So um, I appreciate all of you for subscribing and hitting the like buttons and commenting on the videos that I post. Again, thank you all very much. Now I'm going to give thorough instructions on how this appreciation giveaway is going to work. Now I will start with you must be a subscriber to my channel. So hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and um, comment "I'm in" down in the comments. Now I'm going to also let you know I'm going to use the random comment selector that heck many YouTubers probably use for contests and giveaways. So I ask that you please just comment one time because that program will completely miss your comments. It will not include you in the contest. Also, you must have a valid address that the Postal Service will recognize. And if you think your address is not going to get recognized or you usually don't get deliveries based on that whole point, um, have it shipped to a friend or even a family member that does have a valid address. So now, um, let's just mosey on into the other room and I will show you what's going to be in this giveaway, guys. So don't go away. All right, guys, here we are. In the other room here um, now these are the items that will be in the giveaway it is going to be a whole starter kit of razel rock with let's start off with first their um, version of the tech razor it is actually called well their version of the vintage Gillette's um, tech it's called razel rock tech 2 with a K now definitely um this is a very, very nice looking razor, very brushed chrome, or chrome, I'm assuming, I'm not sure, but it's it's just a all-out beauty. Um, I believe this is going to be a mild shaver, just like Gillette's Tech Razors. Now, I have no prior experience with this said razor, so um, it is a three-piece, non-adjustable, overhang might have a little, I couldn't tell you. But let me set the phone down just for a second, and I will unscrew this razor just a little bit. I'll put you right by a few of the blades. All right, I'm going to unscrew it. Let's see if I can actually do this right here. I'll show you what it looks like when it's unscrewed. There we go. That's a nice view right there, guys. Now, that's the handle. Um, that's what it looks like underneath, like most razors that unscrew. Now this is the uh, top cap and the base plate. So this is the top cap here uh, in the base plate. All right, I'm gonna pick it up now. Now, sorry about the hand guys, I'm trying to hold the phone. This is the top cap. This is what it looks like here. And that will have excellent grip on the blade, having those four corners in like that, so it won't wiggle around and it'll hold it in place very firmly. And the base plate here looks just like your standard Gillette Tech base plate. Has the, even the diamond on it as well. So it's it's a very it's really mimicking that vintage razor look. But again, excellent razor. Will hold your blades very still and in place. And it is a just really nice looking razor. Now um moving on from the razor will be the brush. It is a Razel Rock Disruptor. You see that nice looking artwork on there? It's kind of that, I don't know what you'd call that, like a camo-y, woodsy look to it. Don't know what you would call that, guys. But, um, yeah, it's like a, I think, I believe this is a Plusoft style knot. I really can't remember, but it is ultra plush, ultra soft. It is a 24 millimeter. It should be a 24 millimeter. Yeah, because my 26s have a wider um, bottom on them, so this is probably a 24 mil brush. Use my hand as more of a comparison for the uh, brush size, but yes, the Razel Rocked Disruptor brush. Here's a good view of the denseness of the knot. Uh go sorry about the uh the blurriness 
Now, moving on from the um, hardware, let's move on to the software. <clears throat> I will include what is supposed to be a, um, I'd say a homage from uh, Floyd Blue. If you know what Floyd Blue is, or even Epsilon Blue, this is what the scent is supposed to be based on. And this is an alcoholic-based um, aftershave. It is called Razor Rock Blue Barbershop. But yeah, fans of Floyd Blue, you would definitely love this if you have not tried it. It's in a glass bottle. And like I might have just said, it's alcohol-based. So that means, guys, I cannot ship this outside of the U.S. or North American territory. So um, again, guys, I um, really do ask that you are in the North American or United States area and not overseas. So yeah, I do apologize about that. I would really like to get this to everyone. Again, I'm sorry if you can't participate in this giveaway because of just the set item here, but I will work on doing a giveaway in the future that does not limit with the alcohol aftershave or any alcohol products. Now, moving on from the splash, we get the Razor Rock Shaving Cream Soap. Now, the this is supposed to be the scent of like What the Puck Blue Barbershop. This is um, the cream soap version of that soap. <clears throat> now, if I can focus, these are the ingredients, and again, Blue Barber Shop by Razel Rock it is more of a cream soap, so that means it'll have probably more, more water content in the ingredients than, yeah, see it says water right there, as opposed to the triple milled What the Puck version of Blue Barber Shop. This will probably be easier for a beginner to lather with. Just look at how soft and consistent that soap looks. Man, smells amazing, guys. Um, again, in the blades, I will be including a 40 blades um, DE sampler pack with a 10 pack of feather blades, the sharpest in the game, two packs of Astra greens. I believe those are a more medium mild blade. The Lord Blades, I could not tell you, but I think they're more in the mild category. <clears throat> Those are made in Egypt, by the way. Um, feathers made in Japan. Astra's made by Gillette. Not sure what country. Vos, Voshod, or Voskod, like many of you call, are the Russian blades that are Teflon coated. Those are supposed to be a very smooth blade and mild. From what I understand, they're a more mild and very smooth blade. So, um, again, guys, excellent starter kit. All right, what would you all think of those awesome items, huh? Pretty cool, huh? Again, I'm very excited to see who wins this um, appreciation giveaway. Um, again, I thank you all very much for watching the channel. And, again, I still encourage likes, comments, and subscriptions to the channel. So, again, I appreciate everyone for watching, and you all have a great night, and you all take care.